Hi, I'm Rachel Gray, and I make videos all about cooking. Today, I'm going to show you one of my Italian favorites, pesto. I first had pesto in Florence, and when I tasted it, I thought it was divine. Now, pesto is a staple in the United States. You can buy it in the grocery store, but once you try this recipe, you'll never want the grocery store pesto again. At the end of summer, I have huge basil plants, so pesto is the perfect thing to make. Let's go over the ingredients that we need to make pesto. We need two cups of packed basil leaves, a third of a cup of olive oil. I like extra virgin olive oil for this, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated, and two tablespoons of freshly grated Romano cheese, two tablespoons of pine nuts, two garlic cloves, one teaspoon of salt, and three tablespoons of softened butter. So just take the basil plant, and then I look to see where the leaves are, and I just snip right, right above the leaves. Once I've cut my basil leaves, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse those off. Then I'm gonna pat them dry with some paper towels, and then I'm just gonna take them off of the stalk. I'm just gonna try to leave the stems behind and just take just the leaves. And any leaves that I have that aren't good, then I'm just gonna throw them away. I make my pesto in the food processor. So the first thing I do is take my garlic cloves and peel, just kind of give it a twist and it comes off. And then I'm just gonna take my garlic clove and give it a whack. Give them a rough chop. And I'm gonna put those into the food processor. And now I have garlic all over my hands, so I'm just gonna wash it under cold water and rub it on some stainless steel, the back of my knife, and then I won't have the smell on my hands. Or if you have a stainless steel sink, you can run it on the side of your sink under cold water as well. Next, I'm going to add my pine nuts, and I'm just gonna give them a quick pulse. Just wanna break those up a little bit before my basil goes in. Next, I'm gonna add the two cups of basil and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm gonna put the lid on and using the pulse button, I'm gonna chop that all up until it's fairly fine. It's gonna look kind of like lawn clippings and I'm just gonna scrape the sides down and using my pulse button, I'm just gonna keep pulsing it until I have a paste. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but we've got like a little paste kind of going on. Now I'm just gonna drizzle my olive oil a little at a time into my paste mixture. On my food processor, I'm gonna take this little cap off, turn it on, and then drizzle the olive oil. And when I'm done, it's gonna look like this. Nice and bright green. I'm gonna take my food processor bowl off and I'm just gonna take my mixture and pour it into a bowl. And then I'm going to add my cheeses. So I'm gonna put in my half of a cup of Parmesan and two tablespoons of Romano and three tablespoons of butter that's been softened. And I'm just gonna stir that together by hand. And that's it. It's the beautiful, amazing green sauce from Italy. It's pesto. Once you have homemade pesto, you will never want grocery store pesto again. It's super easy to make, as you can see. It goes on so many things. It's perfect on pasta, on chicken, on bruschetta. It's super versatile. My personal favorite is on tortellini. This is my favorite brand of tortellini that's here in the United States. It's Butoni and it's just in the fresh pasta section in your grocery store. It freezes beautifully, just thaw it on the countertop before you use it, but just know it doesn't really heat very well. You can find this recipe and over 200 other recipes on my blog, cookingwithrachel101.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Subscribing is free, and let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments below. Also, check out my other Italian YouTube videos. I'll link them in the cards above. Thanks for watching.